What's up guys? Welcome to your Tuesday demo video. We got an AMRAP by six minutes. Starting off with 30 seconds of a cardio choice. We'll roll into 10 dumbbell deadlifts, five and five dumbbell bent over rows, and 10 dumbbell high pulls. So our cardio choices, we have jumping jacks. We could also do some high knees. We like to are running in place. The weather has been looking nice recently, so if you wanna go outside for a nice little jog, feel free to do so as well. And then on the ground, we have mountain climbers. Those are some options for you today. Then we have 10 dumbbell deadlifts. So you'll grab your dumbbell in a vertical position, just grabbing around one head, interlocking those fingers. We're driving those hips back and behind, letting those shoulders come over our wrists. So make sure that you're not keeping your chest tall, but rather letting chest fall to the floor while maintaining a braced core. Then we have five and five dumbbell bent over rows. With bent over row, we're driving our hips back and behind like we're starting a deadlift, but we pause with those hips high, knees slightly bent, and we're driving that dumbbell into our back pocket. Take notice of how flat Mandy's back is. If you're rounding forward, try and look up and squeeze those shoulder blades together where we have a nice straight spine. All right, 10 at dumbbell high pulls. We're gonna grab like we're doing an upright row here, so in between that dumbbell, across that little barbell in the middle. You're gonna hip hinge and explode up. So small hip hinge, just a dip, driving those hips back. And then when we explode up, we're driving those elbows high, keeping those wrists low. So kind of like an explosive upright row here, all right? Then for our workout today, our structure will be every two minutes for four sets. So we have one section, every two minutes for four sets, one section, and one section. So all of this will have the same structure, just different movements. So we right here for the first one, for four rounds, we have 45 seconds of cardio and then max dumbbell alternating, sorry, max, I wrote dumbbell twice. Max dumbbell alternating power cleans. We'll just, e -e 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 -e. there we go. Max alternating dumbbell power cleans in the remaining time that you have left over. So about a minute and 15 seconds of that. You'll go through four rounds and then you'll have a minute of rest when you finish all four rounds. So that's your transition time to come down here. Then you have one minute of cardio here as well. All right, your choice on that end. Probably would switch things up a little bit. And then a max kettlebell swing for the remaining time, max kettlebell or dumbbell swing. Then after four sets, you have a minute of rest and your final one here, you have every two minutes for four sets, eight and eight jujitsu get ups and max plank hold. All right, so we'll show what these look like. We showed you guys our cardio options in the warm up. So really we're gonna go through the movements that we have today. So max dumbbell alternating power cleans. We're gonna hold that dumbbell kind of in a facing down position to our thumbs, looking towards the floor, kind of like pointing to the ground or pointing a flashlight to the floor. We're gonna hip hinge, just like our deadlifts here. We're gonna explode up. It's a high pull, big jump, and finishing with that dumbbell on top of that shoulder. One fluid movement, shouldn't be broken up. It is not a slow movement, it's a very quick movement. Notice how she's alternating hands as she goes back towards the ground, not as she comes up, all right? After those, we have one minute of cardio again for the second portion. We have max dumbbell swings, all right? So max dumbbell swings, you can hold your kettle, or, or hold your dumbbell like you would your deadlift in the warm up and we're just driving those hips back, feeling a nice little stretch in those hamstrings, driving those hips forward by squeezing those glutes and locking those quads out, all right? Then, the last portion here, we have eight and eight jujitsu get-ups. It's not a Turkish get-up, it's a jujitsu get-up, so no weight involved. Notice how she is set up here. She's in a seated position, her torso is tall. Whatever leg is straight, that arm is on the ground. So her right leg is locked out straight, her right arm is locked out straight. Her left leg is bent, her right arm is facing forwards. So from here, if you're gonna stand up through that leg, glute bridge and sweep the leg, she'll stand tall and just repeat that movement. And she'll come back down, plant the hand, unsweep the leg, tap the hips to the ground. So one, bridge, two, sweep, three, stand tall. One, bridge, two, sweep, three, stand tall. So one, two, three, movement there. You'll have eight reps, so when she drives up and through, on one side, that's one rep, and when she comes back down, that's finishing that first rep. So here she is staying tall, that's a half rep, that's a full rep. Once those hips reconnect with the ground, that's one full rep. You'll have eight each side. So you should have eight reps in the right arm, eight reps in the left arm. Then a max plank hold, so we'll be on our forearms here, driving those shoulders into the ground. Notice how she's trying to drive that belly button into her spine. Her back is a little, it's flat, but it's slightly rounded because she's tucking her hips into her rib cage. All right, engaging that core, not letting that low back sag into a U, but rather almost into an arch, all right? So that is all we have for you guys. Have a great Tuesday.